Good evening everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. I hope everyone is doing well. It's Saturday night, live from New York. I could actually say that if I was going live. All right, I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you. I'm not gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna jump right into it. All right, some household kind of uh, personal hygiene items. Um, <clears throat> These I thought were kind of cool. These are made by Curad. And what they are, you get 15 different things in here. And what you get is two sterile alcohol swabs, three band-aids. Um, actually, you're gonna get three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. <sighs> Let me try this all over again. I'm not gonna edit that video. We're just gonna leave it the way it is. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Okay, um, Curade, it is a 15 count package. This is what the package looks like. There's the back of the package, and there is what you get in the package. So you're getting an assortment of items. What's cool about this is if you're traveling, something to throw in the glove box, something to even pop in your purse, you know, it does have that resealable pouch right there. So I thought, you know what? Um, even though we have a um, safety kit and stuff like that in the racing trailers, you know, you just never know. And when I saw something like this, it was convenient. It was, you know, compact and I thought perfect to throw in, you know, a toolbox, the trailer, whatever, you know, it was easy to throw into a drawer. And also, if somebody needs it, you know, I can just hand it off to them. It's not that big of a deal. <clears throat> the other, um, well, let's just stay with kind of hygiene stuff. This I thought was a decent buy. You get 12 in a package, and these are made by Dorco. Dorco razors. Um, you know, they're clearly disposable ones, and usually, you know, you can get maybe two, three good uses out of one of these before they start getting all rusty anyways. Um, I do find out, though, that... If I use disposable razors, and this is just me, that if I don't dry them off, they get all rusty like right away within like hours after using them. But if you do kind of dry them off a little bit with a towel, I find that they don't get rusty as fast. These were kind of cute because they're like baby paper plates. <laughs> this one you get 50 in a package and uh, they say that they are made from 100% paper they are microwave safe. Believe it or not, there are some paper plates that have like a wax coating on them. And if you put them in your microwaves, the kind of microwaves we have now anyways, that are very high voltage, um, yeah, the wax is going to melt off of there. So you want to make sure if you're putting paper plates in the microwave, you want to make sure you're using paper plates that don't have a wax coating. But uh, this 50 pack, I thought, you know, it was kind of cute. They are, how big are these? What are they, like six inches? Yep, six inches. I thought perfect for little snacks or little cakes or like sometimes when grandpa stops by, you know, he'll sit up by the breakfast um, nook thing and he'll have something small and that's perfect for a piece of pie or whatever he may be having, a, you know, a bagel or something like that. Um, is for, oh, let me show you these two. <clears throat> This was a new one. I don't mean necessarily new product, just new at the Dollar Street. Um, this is Ponds, and it's 2.53 ounces of the light moisturizer with vitamin E and glycerin. So I picked up two of those. Um, I didn't even check. They should have a safety. Yeah, it's got a safety seal on there. That's important for me, obviously, for hygiene purposes and for all the other kinds of purposes. I've never seen this type before. I do have very sensitive skin, so I do have to be careful. Um, so I thought since this was like a lighter version of the other versions that they had, I thought I would give that a try and hopefully cross my fingers. I won't have any issues because usually what ends up happening is I end up breaking out all over the place and then... That's it, I'll hide for three or four days until my face clears up. Okay, this I thought was cool. Um, since I'm a grandma now, I did mention I'm always going up and down the baby section. And this is a brand name, Arm & Hammer Essentials with Baking Soda, Baby Foaming Wash and Shampoo, fragrance free, 12 fluid ounces. It says it's a bone size. I was like, oh, how cool is that? You know, I can keep that on the side. Um, because sometimes 
even grown-ups need something soft and simple, you know, depending on what the situation is. But I thought, you know what, I'll give that a try. And it smells really good as well. And it is a pump bottle. This is a find like no other. Um, I could have purchased many more, but I really, you know, it's just me. And, you know, um, this is a 50 fluid ounce bottle of brand name soft soap refill liquid. Not spa soap because Dollar Tree sells spa soap. This is soft soap, brand name there. I was like, are you kidding me? 50 fluid ounces for a dollar? I mean, wow, that is a really good buy. And it does smell good. It's not, you know, I kind of hesitated at first when I looked at the scent and I was like, you know, I, I'm not a big, don't get me wrong, I like lemon and lime, but as far as the smell itself, I'd love to smell it more fresh than fake because fake just smells fake to me. Um, but this one does smell pleasant. Again, just my opinion, just my thoughts and only my thoughts. I did find, well, I dropped one of them, so bear with me just one moment. <clears throat> okay. I did find some new makeup masks. This one here is by New Yes to Coconut, but it's ultra hydrating for dry skin. It is a plumping lip mask. Okay, I guess I didn't really quite read that very well in the store. Um, evidently, it's for plumping my lips. <laughs> um, apply the lip mask to fit your curves of your lips. Leave on for 10 minutes for plumper looking softer lips. No need to pucker. Okay, you want to see a review on that? Let me know down below and uh, I'll give it to you guys. Okay, moving on. Uh, this is by Miss Spa Red Wine a Facial Sheet Mask. And it is the premium ingredient they're saying is red wine. So I don't know if you catch a buzz off this or not, but it's 0 0.88 fluid ounces. It protects, soothes, hydrates your skin. This is a mask. I just didn't pay good enough attention when I grabbed the other package. And that's nothing new for me because sometimes... I have like wish list items on my brain and other things that I've seen other people haul on my brain and sometimes an employee or somebody will recognize me and stop me and then I get all sidetracked but I just have to stop and slow down a little bit sometimes but you can't you know because if you do you might miss something. <laughs> all right this is Miss Spa and what it is it's a beauty clay refining mask and it's got vinegar extract and benetine clay. So it is a 1.18 fluid ounce. Now, what's cool about this, it's all in this squishy package, but look at this little cap here. You can untwist this, and if you only wanna use half, or if you just wanna try a little bit to see if your skin is gonna be okay with it, you can surely just twist this off, and then it reseals right back on, because it is a threaded. Um, so you can you know, open and close it as needed. So I did pick up two, because I thought this would be something fun to put into side two, you know, at this point, I have to be honest, um, I'm about here with giveaways. <laughs> um, I, we're not gonna go there. We're just gonna keep on moving on. It's Saturday night, I'm not here to complain. All right, let's jump over to some food items. This is something that I get all the time. I think it's a great buy. It's perfect. It's exactly two cups of rice and it's minute. And this is a brand name. All you need is your water, all you need is your rice, and you are done. I use this probably at least once or twice a week, and I love it, it's perfect. And so I picked up a couple more of those. I'm actually running out of room here. Also, I was really pleased to find the Betty Crocker, and this is the Complete Buttermilk Pancake Mix. It is one pound, 12 ounces, and all you need to do is add milk, or water there's no eggs required i think i'm having well i really got my heart set on french toast tomorrow but oh i don't know i might change it up and do pancakes i'm not sure yet um but anyways these are good until december 29th of 2021 so number one that's why they're at dollar tree because of the expiration date number two you can't always go by expiration dates because 
this is a dried food product. This is going to stay in your pantry a whole heck of a lot longer than the date that that is giving you. So just, you know, make sure that you're aware of that kind of stuff. And when it comes to food items, I always check my dates. At least I try to because I have purchased items that have been expired. I don't want to buy anything that's expired. Um, I know you may be able to eat it after it's expired, but I don't want to get it that way from the store and pay full price. I don't think that's right. Anyways, that's my rant. I'm off my soapbox. Again, it's complete buttermilk pancakes. So I grabbed two boxes, one for me and one for grandpa. Grandpa loves, you know, his um, oatmeal. He loves the, uh, what have I been hauling for him? The cream of wheat, all that kind of fun stuff. All right, they have the Lemonade Stand Charm Blow Pops back. Yeah, they come out every year. They are my favorite. Charms brand name, they are the Lemonade Stand. The flavors that you get are lemonade, raspberry lemonade, and strawberry lemonade. I got two bags. These are so good. If you like lemonade, and I love lemonade. I love iced tea, sweet tea. I love pink um, lemonade. I don't know why. It's something about it that just tastes a little bit better about the yellow. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just a mind thing. But these are so good. They do benefit. Um, is it, which stand is it? I should know this. Oh my gosh. Um, Alex's Lemonade Stand. And um, you, it does donate to that as well. So I think that is definitely a worthy cause. Um, no, I did not have the munchies when I went down the aisle. Um, Grandpa asked me to pick up some sweets for him. So I picked up two more packages of the Werther's Original Cocoa Cream Soft Caramels. These are 2.22 ounces. So I grabbed one, uh, two more of those for him. These are good until February of 2024. I was like, what? So plenty of time for these guys right here. So I got him a couple of those. Um, it's funny because Grandpa will often say, when are you going to the Dollar Tree? What do you need? And then it's chocolate, cookies, cereal. <laughs> hey, when you're 81, you can do stuff like that, right? The other item that I picked up is a repeat purchase. And these are the Lotus Biscoff cookies. Oh, these are so good. They're all individually wrapped. I actually picked up three packages in total. To get just one package for a dollar really is a lot of bang for your buck. Also, ooh, in all the cookies that they have right now in these like back to school cups, this out of all of them, which is the mini Chips Ahoy, is the largest of the vanilla wafers, the Teddy Grahams, the Oreos, and the Chips Ahoy, because that's the flavors they have out right now. Um, so I did pick up some more of the mini Chips Ahoy. It's 3.5 ounces, and I have to tell you, they're just little itty bitty chocolate chips, but they really taste exactly the same. I mean, they should, they're just a, a baby version, but sometimes people will say, well, you know what? Sometimes the smaller containers don't taste as good as the big stuff. They're fine. They're absolutely fine. No worries, no problems. Okay, then I did pick up, this is a repeat purchase. I get these every now and then. Um, this is the six pack. Usually everything now is like five packs. And this is one of my favorite uh, candy bars here because I love my caramel and I love my Rice Krispies and I love my chocolate. <laughs> and this is a six pack. So I got one of those. And then this is the first time I've seen these at Dollar Tree and, and I've never tasted one of these before. So I'm quite curious to see what these taste like. It's a five pack and it's Reese's Fast Break. I know they've been out for a while, but I've never tried one, but it says it's milk chocolate, peanut butter and nougat. It's 3.35 ounces. There's what it looks like. I'm not sure. I mean, I like peanut butter. I like chocolate, the nougat, I'm not so sure. I'm kind of like wondering what kind of nugget because one nugget doesn't necessarily mean it's like the other nugget. Never mind. Off the nuggets. Let's keep going. Oh, look at these here. These are so cute. Lip glosses and holders and oh my goodness, oh my. These are adorable. All right, let me show you what I found. I have to get off my leg because you guys all know I always sit on one leg or the other till it's numb. 
and I do it all the time. I do it in restaurants. It's like, wait, we can't get up yet because I can't feel my legs. So I have to sit and eat a, um, another margarita um, until my legs, or drink another margarita until my legs come back to life. All right, these are six inches in length and I'm measuring from the top to the bottom. Please don't pay attention to this here because obviously these are just the tags. But what you have, and these are like made of rubber and there is a heart. This right here, and there's a piece of hair on here. Ew, how gross, sorry everyone. I don't know if it's mine or whose it might be. I don't even wanna know. I have to move this tag because it's freaking me out. Okay, off, off. Okay, the hair's all gone. All right, so there it is. Um, you can adjust it here. You can make it longer or you can make it shorter. It has a heart. These are all done in like a rubbery. Um, the lip gloss balm that's in here, I don't know the flavor, but I'm gonna show you the color. Oh, does it tell me here? It does, it is vanilla is what it is. And it is 0 0.4 ounces. And there's the color inside. It's really pretty pink. And it's more of like a glittery type because you can see kind of the glitter inside there for the gloss. So they had this one here, which is cute. They also had one with a unicorn -y. And this one is done in more of like blue where the first one I showed you is more like teal. So here's blue. And then there's the unicorn. And this one here is strawberry. And that's just a little bit lighter than the first one I showed you. So here's the first one and there's your second one. So this one's definitely got more pink in there. And then I found one other one. I really have no idea how many there are. This is just what I found. This one is blueberry scented and it's purple. <laughs> and it has a cupcake on there, which is too, too cute. And then this one, not sure let me kind of pull there you go there's a good shot of the color right there and each one really does have like a little bit of glitter in there not crazy glitter but there's a little bit of glitter going on um i did come across a new hard candy item i got a couple actually and this is the hard candy velvet mousse and this is a matte lip color and it is number, yeah, Beth. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> 61399. And it doesn't really give me a color though, unless I just can't, it's called Sun Deep. If you look hard enough, you look at how small the writing is. It's like, OMG, but there is what it looks like. It looks super, super dark, so I'm not sure if it's going to be more of a um, a gloss or if it's going to be really that dark. I'm not sure if I can pull that color off or not, but when I start going through the rest of that big old box of hard candy I showed you, and I'll do a test on that to see exactly what the color looks like. Okay, uh, as far as makeup, the only other makeup thing I found was this Blistex. This is the full size SPF 15, which is medicated berry balm. I don't know about all of you, but whether I'm at the ocean or whether I'm just here, my lips are getting chapped, whether it's sun or whether it's the winter. And I know with winter coming up around the corner, oh, I can't even believe I'm saying that, but gotta stock up because I'm gonna have it everywhere and everybody's glove boxes and stuff like that. All right, a couple new Halloween finds, OMG. Well, first of all, I have to say, <clears throat> Halloween is gonna come in, hit the floor, and right back out the door. There will not be repeats coming in. Whatever comes in, comes in one time, they're not reordering. That's in the areas that I live in from what I've been informed of from other people that do what I do and also are employed at the Dollar Trees. I can't speak for other states. Um, I have no idea, but that's what I'm being informed of. So I kind of said, you know, if you're out in my area and you see something, 
get it because if you don't most likely it's going to be gone and sometimes it's gone before you even exit the store because i'm usually in a store anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour and a half that's if i really like the store other times i can be in and out in 10 minutes it just really depends so just kind of like you know don't snooze because you will lose these are ceramic and they've got really good weight to them this measures five inches in height and it is a ceramic ghost head. I thought it was simply adorable. Um, I had no idea it lit up. Um, it was kind of after the fact that one of the cashiers said to me, you know, this lights up, right? I'm like, it does? What, huh? I immediately flipped it over. I just never paid attention. I merely thought it was just decor, but let me turn it on and pull the uh, little plastic tab out of here. Let me turn it on. Oh, these are so, so cute. Now, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it in my light. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Great. Let me get the tag out of the way. Look at that. So, there's your colors. I think you can see them really. Look at the purple. Look at the purple. Oh, my gosh. Is that too precious or what? You know, I just think that is so cool for a dollar. I mean, OMG. Let me just put the little pluggy thing back in real quick. The little plastic tab. So I did get a couple of them because I know darn well that they are going to be gone. So I did get three of those. Uh, perfect for your tiered trays. Perfect if you want to put it... Um, if you have a window that's like a, um, not a balcony window, a, uh, what am I trying to say? Oh my gosh. Someone yell louder. I heard somebody say it. What, what am I look? What's that? The window that sticks out some. OMG. Okay. I have to think about it. When it comes to my brain, I'll let you know. Someone's got to scream it or ring a bell. Okay. Oh, there's the bell. <laughs> Bay window. <laughs> what I was gonna say if you do like a decoration in like your bay window in the front of your home or something like that or have a bay window and put one of those in there with some other stuff totally cool all right I zoomed down the party aisle real quick like I always did and I found these ribbons and I just had to get them they're made by voila and you get two separate bows because you break the tag in half and then you get to see the bows and I just thought these were like what's a good word for these Tripendicular. Okay, can you tell me what movie that's from? <laughs> All right, so here they are. Now, that is the matte version. Here is the metallic version. So, depending on what you like better, I was like, what? I love these two pieces. I think they're so pretty. And what don't they match? They match absolutely everything you could possibly, you know, every color you could think of. So, so pretty. I use those probably on more <sighs> DIYs than I do actual packages. Figure that one out. Yeah, I have no idea. Okay, so since you heard the bell ring, oh, I knew there was one more. I knew there was one more lipstick. So I got to bounce backwards for a second. So let's rewind. Um, this one is cherry. <clears throat> Excuse me. This one is done in like an orange, kind of like a coral color, and it has a big old diamond on the front there, done in an orange and like a pink. And for your color, it's more of like a peachy color. It does still have a little bit of glitter in there, just like all the others do, but it's more of a peachy color, okay? Um, so the bells, yes, I was going to show you the bells. These are basically just like little novelty things, but they're so cute. I found a couple different sayings. Let me just grab them. I kind of tipped over my basket here and doing that, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. Oh my goodness. I'm just a wreck. Okay. All right, here we go. These measure from top to bottom five inches but you can always take these apart <clears throat> I measured from the top of the key ring to the bottom of the bell if you want this is completely removable and you can just have the little bell and maybe put it on your desk 
or wherever you would like. This one says, and it says it on both sides, which I was very happy, ring for luck. I need a lot of that right now. And then I found, and they're all the same size, ring for wine. Oh yes, ring for wine. There you go. That one sounds even a little bit different. Let's see. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a song going here, hey? God, can you imagine? All right, the next one says, ring for a smile. And they're all done with a black clasp. Again, it's totally removable. I might be able to get a song going. Okay, the next one I found says, a ring for a ladies night. And this one is done in pink. Cutesy cutes. These are fun little things for like, <clears throat> uh, bowling buddies, bingo buddies, you know, stuff like that. Something, you know, I remember my mom, oh my God. My mom loved bingo. It was like nobody got married on a Sunday. Nobody died on a Sunday. Those were bingo days or Wednesday night at the high schools. Nothing had, could happen because that was bingo. And my mom would have her cute little critters lined up across the table. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love you and miss you so much. Okay, last but not least, as soon as I saw this one, I thought of Robin. I'm like, oh my gosh, right away. Because Miss Robin, I haven't seen... I don't think anybody posts about coughing more than Robin does. And every video is absolutely funny or a little clip. And this one says, ring for coffee. So there you go, Robin. That rings for you. <laughs> as soon as I saw it, I was like, Robin, yay! <laughs> All right. Um, this I thought was like a super cool find. And I was like, a buck? No way. I couldn't probably even make this for a buck if I tried. I don't know, I'd have to test it out. These are by Crafter Square. Let me open it up and take it out of the package, okay. This is like the bomb, especially for those of you that are into crafting, that are into tiered trays. Look at this. It is a beaded, Oh yeah, and it's got little, let me show you here on the bottom. It's done basically with that type of rope, which you could totally change out if you want. Uh, let me give this thing a measurement here. <clears throat> I really don't know. I'm gonna measure from one end of the rope to the other. So there's 12, wait, before I go through this, let me see if it's not on the tag. No, of course not. Okay, so let me start the measurement again. So 12, <clears throat> 24, wow, it's four feet long. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Look at the beads, they're all wooden. Let me get a measurement of the bead itself. The beads are a half of an inch. I mean, you could not make that if you tried. Now, the first thing that comes to my mind is, okay, we have Halloween coming up. We have Labor Day coming up. How about painting one red, white, and blue? This would be very easy to paint. Just separate your beads out with spacers, but these are gonna rip off the floors for sure. I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh my God, I love them. Um, I did get a couple packages because I know that they are going to go super duper quick. Also found these new notebooks. Where are we at with time here? I am not going to make it. That's nothing new, right? You guys hear that from me all the time. Okay. These are made by, they're just Dollar Tree brand. There's no other brand on here. These are four inches by nine inches. You get 26 sheets. And what it is, is a list pad booklet. 
These are wrapped in plastic, so there's gonna be a little bit of a reflection for you. I'll try to keep it off the best I can. This one here, of course, they have to put the sticker. What does it say? Okay, under here, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it says brand new day. There's the actual book itself. It's hardback. When you open it up, there is what your inside looks like. Isn't that cute? And then there's your close it up. Now again, this is not on the book. It's on just plastic. I found that one. The next one I found says genius ideas, 100% brilliant mind blowing and looks like that. And when you open it up, whoo, that's got like color screaming all over the place. Isn't that pretty? And one other one that says you can do this. All in a really bright pink. Again, they're wrapped in plastic. So wow, this one's like really jumping out at you. Holy cow, boing, that's a lot of color. And then there's your backside. And last but not least, make today great. I love this ombre effect. I love the way the purple comes on down all the way into the teals and they combine. I think it's absolutely coolio. And then there is your inside. Great little items. Again, you know, these are hard bound. Great items for all kinds of things. Um, endless possibilities, endless. I'm gonna go just another minute or two because I do wanna get through at least half of this. I apologize for this. The fan makes me crazy. When I get a piece of hair in my, I can't sit. Ay! Let me try to aim in a different direction. Okay, that's better. I'm not trying to be rude and do one of these. I'm sorry, that just makes me crazy. Okay, um, no bad days. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. It's a 2022 planner. It's made by Jot. Let me grab Rizzo here. And it is six inches by four inches. It's, you know, bendable. Your sticker does come off on the back. When I open it up, you have all your different dates for certain holidays. And then you have different goals and different plans perfect for your purse or a backpack and then this is how your planner is set up throughout the months very nice something that's simple gives you the basic information that you kind of need um this one no they had no other colors in this one i was trying to think if they had it in a different color but they did not the other one I found is going to be the exact same as the one I just showed you. It's just the front is different. And this one says, ready, set, goals. Hopefully, I since I can read it on the screen, I'm hoping you can all read it on the screen. Again, the inside is exactly the same. It's just that instead of what I just showed you. And last but not least, and of course, this one's going to be my favorite because it's purple. And it says, sparkle every day and there you go again your sticker comes off on the back inside is the same as all the other ones oh this was something cool i'll wrap this video up with this because pretty much the rest of the things i have are halloweeny but what i did was i came across these balls and they are called surprise blind ball Evidently, it says <clears throat> you just peel it open and there's supposed to be some kind of a character or something in I don't know. It's like a blind bag, so let me grab. I thought I had my scissors. My bad. Let's take a peek here. <clears throat> oh, actually, there's a little spot where it says you can tear it. So let's open a couple of these up, and I'll save the rest of what I got there for another haul. Okay, of course, I have like no fingernails right now at all because I just like broke them all. I was chipping them. I was like, all right, forget about it. Really bad. Okay, hold on. Let me use my scissors. 
It's just the plastics on there so tight. <clears throat> All right, here we go. I don't know. It doesn't really say much of anything, but there feels like there's a little bit of weight in there. Okay. Whew. Smells like wet farts. Oh, it's like rub. <laughs> Drop everything, really. <laughs> okay. Um, it's like a little rubber dinosaur. He's cute. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's like um, it's not a real hard rubber. It's like a medium. <laughs> It's like a medium sized rubber. It does have a little hole right here. So you could definitely put like a, a string or a cord through it. Let me see how big it is. Two inches. Okay, so you know what? Let's open up another one. And uh, I have another one right here. So let's see. Let me try if I can get this one. All right, I'm not gonna mess around. I'm not gonna mess around. Okay, here we go. All right, what do we got? Something green. Oh, I like this dude, this dude's cool. Is this a frog? I, I don't know if it's a, a frog or an alien. They kind of smell well, this one doesn't smell as bad as this one did. I mean, I guess it's kind of wearing off. Maybe it's because it's rubber and they, they do have these like little vent holes. So maybe it's just the, the rubber they use. It feels more... <clears throat> Might as well just throw them on the floor myself or start juggling for all of you because I can. Um, it, it's really hard to describe. It's not a hard plastic rubber, but it's rubbery like an eraser. That's the kind of texture that I'm trying to explain. So there we go. And then here was the other one. I got one more. You know what? I might as well open it with all of you. Because what fun is one? That's like having one instant lottery ticket, right? Well, it could be the one that, you know, wins you a million dollars for life. But, okay. Let's take a look. All right. I'm going to have to run my vacuum as soon as I'm done here. Since I'm chucking everything all over the floor. All right, why is this one being such a pain? Come on. Come on. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, how adorable is this? OMG. Sunny day. Isn't that a... Oh, does this come apart? It almost looks like the top pulls off, but I'm not gonna force it. It is two inches in length. Is that? I need more balls. <laughs> All right, everybody. I gotta go get some more balls. Until next time, everyone, thank you so much for watching. So we're gonna be having another Dollar Tree haul, whether it'll be tonight or not. You never know. I did get some wonderful friend mail that just came in. So I have a brand new friend mail video to share with all of you as well. And, oh, at this point, you know, like I said, giveaways. Oi. Until next time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.